Good evening, students. Every day, everybody is giving so many tips to you. You must follow the uh, tips. Same time, you must study well. So you should prepare a schedule. That the schedule should be that you don't copy that schedule because that uh, you have to prepare a schedule depends upon your study skills. Clear. So you prepare a separate study schedule. The timing, timing that is a study timing is a more important one. Clear. Same time, you can study mostly in night time up to 10 p.m. According to my knowledge, you can study up to 10 p.m. So early morning, you can wake up at any time, no problem. From 4 a.m. onwards, you can wake up at 4, 4 a.m. onwards, you can wake up at any time, no problem. So early morning, you can study. So which gives that early morning study, which gives a peaceful and a fresh, fresh mind which gives a peaceful and a fresh mind, clear. So night time, you can study up to 10 p.m. That is enough. So morning, you can study. You can spend that more time in morning time. Same time, I already told, one and a half hour to two hours, you can continuously, you can study. After that, you can take a break, minimum five to 10 minutes, clear. After that, you can continue that study. Mean. Then that uh, continuous recalling is the uh, important one. Okay, so today class starts with the new chapter: human health and disease. Human health and disease. So, what's the meaning of health? So, already told. If you are studying on new chapter, means you should understand what are the things which is present in the in the particular chapter clear so in this chapter mostly we are going to concentrate about the diseases human diseases and immunity human diseases and immunity so we will discuss one by one so today we are going to discuss about a human health so what is the meaning of health pa? what is the meaning of health so health means physical wh -O gave one uh, clear definition for health so health means physical mental and social well-being that is called as a health for example so if it's a physical physical means you know very well uh, you are not physically not well means uh, you are suffering from fever headache or any other diseases or some wound you may get so this is called as a physically if you are suffering from something for example, headache, fever, or maybe a wound, or etc., etc., any other day, you are suffering from some diseases. Clear. So at that time, I will give one task to you. Can you do? Can't. Why? We are suffering from some physical illness. Similarly, you physically you are good. Physically you are good, but you have some worries in your mind. So at that time, I will give one um, mind task to you. So at that time, you may do, but you cannot do the work perfectly and continuously because you are mentally affected clear so that mental affects continuous mental if you are aff affected mentally mentally and continuously which is also cause a physical state which is also cause a physical state because mental worries causes a hormonal imbalance that hormonal imbalances causes a so it may cause a, some disease so at that time also 
which leads the physical illness or a physical state clear so that a human health may human health means physical mental and social well being this is called as a health so that uh, here immune system is a very important one immune system is a very important one because that human health disease and human health is mostly interlinked with the immune system because immune system maintains our health immune system only maintains our health for example however so immune system serves a soldiers however however you you consider our body is a king our body is a king so mostly the king will be protected by the soldiers and the other persons clear so king is protected by the soldiers likewise our body also protected by the immune system body also protected by the immune system here the wbc play a important role so wbc consider as a immune cells that question may ask in it wbc consider as immune cells so health is affected by the health is majorly affected by the three factors what are they means first one is a gen genetic disorders second one is a infection third one is a lifestyle so genetic disorders what's the meaning of genetic disorder yesterday we discussed about the genetic disorders genetic diseases uh, it may genetic diseases means uh, maybe a chromosomal disorders or maybe a gene disorders so inborn error diseases are defects which inherits from parents from birth inborn error diseases are defects which inherits from parents from birth that is called as a genetic diseases so many things we discussed uh, in yesterday class so no need to explain again the second one is uh, because you know very well uh, about a uh, genetic disorders the second one is uh, infections so infections means uh, infection is caused by the pathogenic organism infection is caused by the microorganisms pathogenic microorganisms you know very microorganism means a tiny organism cannot visible that one we can visible under the microscope such organisms are called as a microorganism that if that are the because organisms are majorly grouped into two one is a beneficial organism another one is a harmful organism which organisms are causes a diseases that organisms are called as a pathogenic organism that pathogenic organism causes a disease which is called as a infection that infection may be transmitted from one to another one that infection means transmit it can able to easily transmitted from one person to another person the next one is a third health affected factor is a lifestyle the lifestyle is also important one lifestyle is also important one however food water intake food water intake also very important one proper rest is also important one regular exercise food water water intake proper rest and a regular exercise which is also important to maintain our health in good way in old and days uh, habits also play a important role habits also play a important role to maintain the immunity not only that uh, food habit not only the other things because food habits are supports to develop the immune cells like a wbc that food habit alone not enough to maintain the health habits also play a important role for small example in olden days our ancestors uh, drank uh, well water well river and stream water similarly the waters are poured into the pot pot because that any impurities or any things will be press, uh, present in the water main so while we are pouring that water into pot at that time that uh, unwanted things will be a uh, filtered by the sand of pot so while we are drinking that water it is a good for our health but nowadays we are drinking a uh, uh mostly we are drinking that uh, purified water uh, yeah that is true the purified water only because does not have any nutrients 
everything will be filtered everything will be filtered it is not good for our health so nowadays we can drink a bore well water and well water because river water also good but nowadays it is uh, it is not good because um, so many dying industries release uh, so many dies so the water will be continue, uh, contaminated on continuously contaminated on so nowadays we can take a bore well water and river water which consists of uh, nutrients which is also supports the immune systems immune systems are maintain our health in good way clear <clears throat> and the olden days ancestors they took a fat and carbohydrate low food for example uh, ragi tinai or etc etc which is a less carbohydrate content oil also they used a very low quantity also they are not to use the oil items in festival time only they regularly eat uh, oil items in this way they are reducing the fat content also the rice is also in olden days they took uh, two days per week only clear so in this way they also reduced the carbohydrates also they did physical works also they did a physical work also like a field works a female also they did a many house works house work cleaning the house of uh, vessel washing or etc etc cloth washing like that so at that time automatically they are doing a both male and female they did so many exercise so at that time organs are good organs are our human organs are good means uh, automatically they did not get uh, any diseases hence we must take a low calorie nowadays we must take a low calorie foods and uh, drink uh, bore well or well water regularly we must do the physical exercise to maintain our health because uh, nowadays it, all individuals uh, we cannot do field works field works in agriculture field or etc so that's why regularly we must do the physical works to maintain our health in a good manner in a good manner clear so habits also support to maintain our health The next one is a calm. Common diseases in human. Human diseases. So human diseases means uh, the diseases are a uh, the disease 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 means a uh, unwanted illness that is called as a disease so illness that is called a disease the diseases are grouped into the two one is a uh, infectious diseases another one is a uh, non infectious diseases so infectious means a uh, disease caused caused by the organism which is easily transmitted from one to another person that is called as a infectious diseases infectious diseases like a viral fever and other things the next one is a non infectious diseases non infectious diseases means a opposite to infectious diseases for example genetic diseases are example for the non infectious diseases because genetic diseases it will be inherited through the inherited from one to, uh, one to next generation it is not caused to one to another person so infectious diseases are a uh, disease caused is disease caused by the organism which is transmitted from one to another person easily but non infectious persons are a uh, non infectious disease means uh, it is not transmitted it will be transmitted from one to next generation genetic uh, gen diseases is an example for the non infectious diseases and the, not only the diseases other habits also uh, cause a uh, affect our human health for example drug alcohol abuse drug and alcohol abuse that thing also affect our health the and other diseases also that uh, drug alcohol abuse cancer also affect the health and cause the death so now we will discuss the what are the 
will come some diseases so what are the common diseases in human means so we will discuss one by one before that one you should know what's the meaning of pathogen so pathogen means uh, disease causing organism just now i told the microorganisms are play microorganism will be present in everywhere like air water land etc etc that organism we cannot see our naked eye which will be visualized under the microscope which will be visualized under the microscope which will be visualized under the microscopes the patho pathogens means so many pathogens for example uh, bacteria fungus virus protozoa those are the few examples of the pathogens all not all microorganisms are pathogens the disease causing agents only considered as the pathogens for a, we will discuss one by one bacterial disease bacterial diseases salmonella typhi it is a important one ma salmonella typhi that question is also i think it is also asked in a previous neat exam salmonella typhi which causes a typhoid which causes a typhoid fever that's the when the salmonella typhi will be enters in human body at that time it reaches the small intestine through the contaminated food and water after that it will be migrates through the blood clear the salmonella typhi so the so source is a contaminated food and water the source is also important ma the question may raise like this salm that which is a source of salmonella typhi the contaminated food and water clear contaminated food and water is a source of a salmonella typhi the what are the symptoms of salmonella salmonella typhi means a various symptoms are available the common symptoms are stomach pain headache tiredness tiredness and fever those are the co common symptoms of salmonella typhi so viral test viral test is a confirmation test for a salmonella so for example one person is uh, affected by the salmonella typhi means uh, we cannot confirm immediately so after 3 to 5 days we can confirm it so why we have to confirm after 3 to 5 days in that period only that is typhi uh, that organism will be when that organism is enter into our body immediately it should, uh, don't show the accents first it will be enter into our body it will be for example salmonella typhi means uh, it will be enters uh, in small intestine so after that it will be it will be stay there and it will be develop after that we, after that only it shows its expression that is called as uh, so a period between the entry time and the expression of that action that is called as a ip period that is called as a ip period incubation period clear that is called as a incubation period that the incubation period will be vary from the each and every pathogens each and every pathogens for example that the hiv virus have the highest ip period clear so that uh, pathogens so that the salmonella typhi pathogens confirmation test is a viral test that is the most important question man in neat which one is a confirmation test for the salmonella typhi viral viral test is a confirmation test for salmonella the next one is a streptococcus pneumonia and hemophilus influenzae are responsible for the disease pneumonia in humans so pneumonia is caused by the two organisms namely streptococcus pneumonia and hemophilus influenzae so mostly the streptococcus pneumonia is responsible for the
responsible for causing the pneumonia So what are the common symptoms of pneumonia means uh, fever and chill bodies, cough and headache and cough and headache. In severe cases of pneumonia, lips and finger may turn green to bluish in color. In severe cases only, the lips and the finger may turn gray into bluish in color. A healthy person accuses infection by a healthy person accuses infection by inhaling the droplets and aerosols released by the infected person or sharing glasses and other things of infected persons infected persons so when the healthy persons acquires the infection means when that healthy persons inhaling the droplets and, and aerosols, aerosols of uh, infected persons otherwise uh, sometimes uh, sharing of glasses towels and uh, let's say the infected persons used to the bathroom means the same bathrooms we can use it at the time through that water droplets also that uh, organism will be transmitted from the infected person to the normal human beings so those are the way to transfer the organism from infected person to normal persons that's why that uh, who are suffering from the infectious disease means uh, they they have to uh, we are not we are not used the the infect, infected persons uh, things and the other what are the other common bacterial diseases means uh, diphtheria 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 is uh, one of the example that diphtheria is ex uh, ca caused by the corny bacterium diphtheria diphtheria is caused by the corny bacterium di diphtheria and uh, dysentery that uh, important thing is uh, here that the organism name and uh, disease name that the organism name and the disease name the, the, that particular disease is caused by the which organism that is the most important one more so so many uh, and another one important thing is uh, that the organism is whether it is a bacteria fungus or virus that thing also you should name the three things you must know one is a uh, name of the causative agent the next one is a uh, this is name third one is uh, the target semis comes under which group whether it is a bacteria or a virus that thing you should, you must know clear so surely one question will comes from this chapter uh, sorry come this from this topic so diphtheria is caused by the carni bacterium diphtheria then dysentery dysentery is caused by the some many organisms like a cigella cigella e coli cigella and e coli the next one is a tetanus tetanus is a tetanus is a disease caused by the carni bacterium detane carni bacterium detane that is also bacteria now i am uh, explaining about the common bacterial diseases only the next one is a syphilis next one is a syphilis which is caused by the trypho trypho nema pallidum Trifonima pallidum. The next one is the cholera. So cholera is caused by the Viprio cholerae. Cholera is caused by the Viprio cholerae. So many, those are the important common bacterial diseases. Diphtheria, dysentery, tetanus, syphilis, cholera, and etc, etc. Next one, 
we are going to discuss about the viral diseases viral diseases not only that bacteria virus also causes uh, so many diseases virus also called as uh, so many diseases back virus also causes so many diseases commonly the many viruses also cause a disease in human reno virus reno virus a group of virus which cause most infectious disease most common infectious disease common cold so common cold is caused by the reno virus so they infect that virus infect the nose and respiratory passage but not but not infect lungs so it will infect nose and respiratory passage but not uh, infection lungs infect lungs so nasal congestion and discharge is a common character of a common cold that thing you know very well that nasal congestion and discharge of and discharge is a common character of a common cold as a similarly sore throat cough headache sneezes also the common character of a common cold the infected persons the infected person inhaled directly or a transmitted through the contaminated objects like a cups towel or etc etc cause the infection in healthy person just now i told in a bacterial diseases so how an organism whatever may be bacteria or viruses how it will be transmitted means uh, in case water borne uh, that organism is a uh, water borne diseases means uh, you know very well water what is the meaning of water borne disease uh, water borne organism air borne organisms air borne organisms means uh, organisms are born but place the water uh, air borne organisms means uh, that organisms are present in only the air that is called as a uh, air borne organism water borne uh, organism means uh, that organism will be present in the water only that is called as a uh, water borne organisms clear so that uh, droplets um, that uh, how that uh, it will be transmitted from infected person to the healthy person means uh, that cough droplet here in common cold uh, cough droplets are sneezes sneezes which will be transmitted from infected persons to the normal person while they inhaled the droplets or sneeze directly so at that time it will be trans transmitted the second case is uh, that uh, infected persons uh, infected persons uh, objects like cups towels so while we are using that uh, objects at that time also that uh, organisms that organism regino virus uh, will be transmitted from the healthy from the infected person to the healthy person healthy persons so what are the other viral diseases means so many viral diseases will be available the important one is important sir chicken box chicken box is a viral disease which is caused by the varicella which is caused by the varicella varicella zoster virus shortly called as a v is a v v means a varicella zoster jet wow we means a virus varicella zoster virus which causes the chicken box that uh, which also causes the itchy itchy and some rashes clear the next common viral infection is herpes so herpes are caused by the herpes simplex virus shortly called as a hsv so herpes simplex viruses cause a disease named as a herpes so herpes means nothing it is a sexually transmitted disease that question is also important ma so herpes are sexually transmitted disease caused by the hsv then mumps that is a common viral diseases caused by the mumps virus rubella rubella also common viral diseases which is also caused by the rubella other viral diseases are also available you know very well common viral diseases hiv we will discuss in later detail hiv also human immunodeficiency virus which causes the aids disease that is that is also viral disease clear <clears throat> next one the protozoan diseases next one is a protozoan diseases 
protozoa protozoa so also causes uh, some diseases human diseases also caused by the protozoans too for example malaria for example malaria so malaria is caused by the plasmodium this is a important need question ma malaria is caused by the plasmodium that plasmodium is responsible for a plasmodium is responsible for the malaria disease the three three organisms are responsible for Uh, different types of malaria for example plasmodium vivax plasmodium vivax plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum plasmodium vivax plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum the three organisms are responsible for that different types of malaria the plasmodium the mode of action ma mode of action of plasmodium the plasmodium enters the human body as a sporocytes plasmodium enters the human body as a sporocytes through the bite of infected female female anopheles mosquito female anopheles mosquito plasmodium enters the human body as a sporocytes through the bite of infected female ana female anopheles mosquito when this mosquito when this mosquito infected mosquito bites the infected person those parasites enters mosquito's body mosquito's body and undergoes further development undergoes further development the parasites multiply within them the parasites i mean parasites means uh, that protozoans multiply within the mosquito within them and form sporocytes and form sporocytes that stored in the salivary glands of mosquito that stored in the salivary gland of mosquito when those mosquitoes bite the human the sporocytes will be introduced into the human body and cause the malaria so that uh, so many people may think the malaria is a causative agent for the mosquito is a causative agent for malaria not ma mosquito is a carrier mosquito is a carrier it is a transmitter mosquito is a uh, mosquito will be act as a vector to carry the malaria causative agent clear so you have to clear in this in this point ma so ma, mosquito mosquito is a carrier specifically the anopheles anopheles mosquito is a carriers that is a important need question ma anopheles mosquito anopheles mosquito act as a vector anopheles mosquito act as a vector to cause the malaria plasmodium is a protozoa response for response for to cause the malaria clear so that when that uh, plasmodium enters the mosquito body at that time sporocytes will be formed that sporocytes will be stored in the salivary glands salivary glands of mosquito when that mosquito bites the human body at that time that sporocytes will be injected into the human body it will be injected into the human body so when the mosquito bites on normal human beings that sporocytes will be injected injected into the human body after that uh, after injection the parasites parasites means uh, sporocytes reach the liver reach the liver of human through the blood B because blood will be circulated throughout the body so it will be reach the liver through the blood after that the parasites reduces the reduce uh, the parasites reproduced after reaching the liver of human being the parasites uh, reproduces asexually it follows a uh, asexually i mean plasmodium follows a uh, asexually that question is also important the parasite reproduces asexually in liver cells after that reproducing means that quantity will be increasing so automatically which is undergoes the bursting so uh, bursting so bursting the cell and releases into the blood 
So just to imagine, ma. So when that sporocytes will be entered into the human body through the anaphylaxis mosquito, so at that time through that blood it will be reach the human liver. So after that, that para after that after reaching that parasites will be reproduces reproduces many sporocytes in the liver cells of human being. So after rep after reproduction that many things will be produced after that it will be burst and released into the blood and released to the blood the bursting the red blood cells and causing the cycles of fever and other symptoms the released parasites the released parasites infect the new red blood cells of human beings so in this way it will cause a, a severe cases clear So endemipa histolytica. So endemipa endemipa histolytica is a common protozoan parasite in the large intestine of human, which causes the amoebiasis. Which causes the amoebiasis. That is also important need question ma. Endemipa histolytica causes the amoebiasis. That is important question. Kindly notice. Um, no, note it, ma. Amoebiasis is caused by the endemipa histolytica protozoa. Endemipa histolytica is a protozoa, which causes a amoebiasis. Amoebiasis means a amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery. So, what are the symptoms of uh, amoebiasis? Means a uh, Abdominal pain, abdominal pain, stools with excessive mucus and blood cells, stools with excessive mucus and blood cells. Those are the important symptoms of amoebiasis. And uh, house play act as a mechanical carrier. Here, in amoebiasis, in malaria. Mosquito, anophilus mosquito act as a carrier. But here in amoebiasis case, house flies act as a mechanical carrier. That is also important need question. Kindly note it. Which one is act as the carriers? In amoebiasis means a house fly. House flies are act as a mechanical carrier and serve to the transmit the parasite from infected person to the food and food products. So thereby contaminating them and contaminated water and food is a source of source of infection. So this is also an important question. Ma, which is the source of a uh, amoebiasis? Means uh, contaminated food and contaminated food, contaminated food and uh, contaminated water of source of infection. So just to imagine it, one contaminated food is there. I mean, so uh, the food undergoes uh, food spoilage. Food spoilage that is called as a contaminated one. Uh, otherwise, uh, any unwanted thing is present or added to the food that is also called as a contaminated food. So, on contaminated, if the contaminated food is open in uh, which is uh, kept in open place, so at the open, it is not closed. So the contaminated food is not closed. Remains when that house flies will be uh, when the house flies are sit on the contaminated food automatically it will be fly, uh, fly from that place and it may sit on the human being. So at the, in this way, it will be transmitted. In this way, it will be transmitted. So next one, Ascaris. Ascaris. Ascaris is a common. So before that one, Okay, uh, Ascaris, 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 Ascaris is a common roundworm, common roundworm, and Ucherisia, the filtered worm, Ucherisia is the filtered worm.
So not only that bacteria, protozoa and viruses, some worms also, ringworms also, nematodes also can cause the disease, also can cause the disease. Uh, like uh, Ascar is, is a common round worm and the Ucherichia is a filtral worm, which is a filtral worm, so that is a uh, nematodes. Ucherichia, that is the important question, ma. Ucherichia is a filtered worm or some of the helminths, which are known as a pathogenic to the men. That uh, Ucherichia and Ascaris is, is a common pathogen of nematodes to the men. Ascaris is intestinal parasite, which causes the Ascarisis, which causes the Ascarisis. That is important, Ma. Ascaris can cause the ascarisis. The symptoms of the ascarisis means uh, internal bleeding, muscular pain, fever, anemia, and blockage of the intestinal passage. Intestinal passage. Those are the important symptoms, uh, symptoms of ascarisis. The egg of the parasite are excreted along with the fecus of infected persons which contaminated soil, water, and plants, et cetera, et cetera. The healthy persons occurs this infection through the contaminated water, vegetables, fruits, or et cetera, et cetera. So the, here also source is a contaminated water, contaminated vegetables, and contaminated fruits, and et cetera, et cetera. So contaminated eating ties, and through that contaminated eating items are uh, sources, sources of uh, ascaricis. Clear. The next one is uh, next nematode is uh, Ucherichia. So Ucherichia, mostly that uh, two species are important one. Uh, Ucherichia pancroft, Ucherichia pancroft, and Ucherichia malayai. The filtral worms causes a slowly developing chronic inflammation, causing chronic inflammation of the organs in which they they live for a many years. It will live a many years. Usually that lymphatic vessel of the lower limbs and the disease is called elephantiasis. Elephantiasis, also known as a fluorosis. So elephant, the question is also most important question. Ma. So elephantiasis is caused by the Ucherichia pancraft. So elephantiasis is caused by the Ucherichia. It is a ringworm. It is a nematode. That is an important question. Ma, already previously it is a, which is asked one. So that uh, genital organs also often affected by the elephant diasis, resulting in grass deformities. The pathogens, Ucherichia pathogens, will be transmitted through uh, trans transmitted from the infected person to the healthy person by the mosquito bite by the mosquito bite so here also mosquito also act as a vectors so in elephant diasis here also mosquito will be act as a vectors so mosquito act as a vectors to cause a two disease what are they one is a malaria another one is a elephant diasis clear in elephant diasis cases, mosquito carries the nematodes Ucherichia. In malaria disease caused, that mosquito carries the plasmodium protozoans to cause the malaria. Clear? Don't forget, ma. Don't confuse. The next one is a fungal diseases. Not only nematode, protozoa, viral, and bacteria. The fungus also can cause the diseases. The fungus, the the what is the meaning of fungus, ma? I think the, you you already studied in a living world, biology of living world. The fungus, the fungus, this also comes under the mycota family. Eh? It is a plant. I mean, non-green plant because lack of a chlorophyll. That is called as a fungus. The fungus, many fungus belongs to the genera. Many fungus, 
many fungus belongs to the genera Microsporum and Trichospitan, Trichro, Trichophyton and Ebitermophyton. So many fungus belongs to the genera Microsporum, Trichophyton and Ebitermophyton. So which is are responsible for a ringworms in one of the most common diseases in man caused by the fungus. Ringworms. In ringworms means near the neck, in left side or right side, round-like structures will be there. Round-like structures will be sir. Watery-like substance will be released continuously. And uh, uh, it feel uh, which makes uh, feel to itchy. So this is called as a ringworm. So the ringworm is one of the most common infectious disease caused by the fungus in human beings. <clears throat> that uh, appearance of dry scaly lesions on various parts of the body, such as skin, nails, uh, and uh, scalp, are the main symptoms of the disease. In scalp, that is also common fungal disease. Those li lesions are accompanied by itching. The heat and the moisture help those fungus to grow. The heat uh, because that uh, fungus will be grows only the uh, 20, uh, 25 to 28 degrees Celsius, approximately 28 degrees Celsius. It cannot uh, survey in the high temperatures when it reach a 40 like that. It cannot uh, survey it. So that moisture and uh, that bearable heat temperatures helps to grow the fungus, which makes them thrive in skin fold and uh, yes, uh, Gornian are between the toys. So the ringworms are generally acquired from the soil by using towels, cloths, or even the comb of infected individuals. That's why uh, many people are saying, so do, uh, kindly use a separate uh, combs. So some people may exchange the dress. Mostly these things are occurs between the boys. Uh, in hostels, uh, students. So, uh, so some persons are uh, suffering from that fungal infection. Fungal infection means uh, fung fungal infection. Just now I explained. So, while you are exchanging, uh, one person is suffered, uh, affected from that fungal infection means uh, while you are exchanging your dresses or comb, comb at that time it will be tra transmitted. It will be transmitted. Clear. So that way that uh, so many things, some kerchiefs. And the dresses are comb. We must use uh, use uh, personal things. So maintenance. So maintenance of personal and public hygiene is a very very important for the prevention and the control of many infection diseases, not only the fungal diseases, many uh, infectious diseases. For example, if we are using the common public toilets, means the most uh, uh, urinary infections will be caused. Unclean toilet, if you are using the unclean toilets, which causes the urinary tract infections. So maintenance of personal and public hygiene is a very, very important for prevention and control of uh, many infectious diseases. So personal hygiene includes keeping the body clean, personal hygiene, keeping the body clean, and uh, consumption of clean drinking water, food, vegetable, et cetera, et cetera. So that vegetables, while you are uh, going to eat, or while you are going to cook, or uh, fruits, while you are going to eat at the time, we should clean it and we have to eat it. In, ca in case if you are hungry, you must clean it and then only eat it. Eat. Otherwise, if you are not clean and eat, means sir, there are so many organs that may be present in the surface. So while you are eating, it will be entered into our body and may present in the intestine or etc. etc. Clear. So personal hygiene is a very important one. That public hygiene, that those things are uh, personal hygiene. Then next one is a public hygiene means uh, includes uh, uh, proper disposal of waste and excreta periodic cleaning and dis disinfection of water reservoirs pools 
and tanks water tanks and uh, public catering those measures are uh, particularly essential where the infections agents are transmitted through the food and uh, water such as typhoid amebiasis and ascariasis in cases of airborne disease such as pneumonia and common cold because it will be that uh, pseudo the pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia which is present this a airborne my airborne microorganism that common cold in addition the so to avoid that infectious diseases we must maintain the not only that personal hygiene we must maintain the public hygiene also we must maintain the public hygiene also so that uh, other uh, things are uh, the close contact with the infected persons or their uh, blanks should be avoided so one person is infected by the some infect uh, infectious disease means the uh, we must avoid it we must avoid it avoid it means uh, we must use a uh, separate things so that infected persons things we not used so for uh, diseases such as malaria and fluorosis that are transmitted through the insect vectors insect vector so if you are maintaining that close contact means so for example mosquito and how through that mosquito and house fly so automatically uh, house fly and mosquito is responsible for to cause the so, uh, disease to carry the diseases uh, diseases called uh, malaria and fluorosis so if you are maintain that close relationship in an infected persons means uh, easily transmitted by the carrier insect carriers the most important measure is to control to control or eliminate the vectors and their breeding places how this can achieve means it will be achieved by the avoiding stagnation of water stagnation of water and around the residential area and regular cleaning of household Uh, household uh, coolers and the use of mosquito nets use of mosquito nets those are the important things to control the mosquito growth that introducing fishes like not a fishes fishes like campuchia in ponds that feed a mosquito larva that feed on mosquito larva spraying of insecticides in ditches and the drainage area and the drainage area in additional the doors and windows should be provided with wire mesh to prevent the entry of mosquito those are the in order to avoid the diseases malaria and ambiebiasis diseases because that mosquito is a uh, carrier mosquito is a carrier so that infection diseases we can we uh, infection diseases we can prevent to maintain the public and personal hygiene so now i said so many things uh, to messes mosquito net using those things we can uh, we can prevent the some malaria and ambia ambiasis disease so that's all about the diseases next one is a immunity next one is a immunity so every day we are exposed next topic is a next topic is a immunity every day we are exposed to large number of infectious diseases every day we are exposed to large number of infectious diseases however only few are those exposures result in diseases so we are 
only few of those exposures result in diseases. This is due to the fact that body is able to defend itself from most of those foreign agents, most of the foreign agents. The overall ability of the host to fight, important one, the overall ability of host to fight the disease-causing organisms conferred by the immune system, which is called immunity. So what's the meaning of immunity? The ability of host, host means the human body, the human host to fight the disease-causing organism with the help of immune or in with the help of our immune system is called as a immunity so immunity means a, that fight between the immune system and foreign particles which is called as a immunity how we can increase our immunity just now i told that habitat also very important to maintain the health so if you are suffering from any diseases means we can take a vaccines or we can like a, if you, if you take a, a tablets, automatically it will be react with the organism. It will be cured. Uh, that thing we know very well. If you eating that, uh, if you following the uh, food habits, means uh, that food consists of the so many nutrients which supports the immune system. In this way also, we can get a immunity. The, how the habits will support sir uh, to increase the immunity means uh, just you imagine it, ma. So some people, sir. So not yet. some people, sir. many people, not only some, many people are living in the roadside area. I think you may see, you may, you may see in that roadside area, many uh, people are surviving in that uh, bus stand side or roadside, sir. They, they are not frequently taking that uh, so many uh, injections, but the similarly, the simultaneously, some infants will be grow in the controlled aseptic environment. Aseptic environment. That infant dresses also soaked with the dental or any other things. That feeding also. The that that infant is with that when the infant is. When the infant is uh, growing in the control environment, at that time, that infant also drinking the uh, other aquafina water or uh, purified water only, that infant is drinking. So at that time, what will happen means we are not giving a chance to enter the organism, enter the pathogen to the infant. So at that time, there is no pathogen entry means uh, there is no fight between the pathogen and the immune system. So when the fight occurs at that time, only immunity will be fight against that one. Clear. Against the foreign particles. And only other, then only immunity will be developed. So subsequent infections will develop our immunity. That organism is not entered into our body. That immune system cannot fight that one. So in the foreign particles should be there. Then only immune system can fight it. Immune system alone cannot fight. So foreign, it, it needs a foreign particle that is called as an antigen. So important terms are two things are important terms with antigen and antibody. Antigens means a foreign particles. Antigens means a foreign particles that is called as a antigens. That antibody means a, uh, that the substance are secreted against the antigens. That is called as a antibody. So substance are secreted against the antigen. That is called as a antibody. So antibody will be developed by the immunity. Antibody will be developed by the immunity. So antigens means a foreign substance. For example, microorganisms or any other uh, disease-causing agents which is called as a antigens. So antigens are a foreign particles. So why it is called as considered as a foreign particles means uh, foreign. So uh, our uh, host one, host ones having the so many organs, blood, sir, etc., WBC, RBC, etc., etc. That's uh, that will be present in our body from birth itself. But foreign particle, microorganisms, even pathogens are not uh, not present in from birth itself. So it will be newly ended. So which is considered as a foreign particles. So so when the foreign particles ended, which is considered as a path, uh, antigens. So after the entry of antigens, automatically stimulate the 
immune systems so immune system will be surely recognize oh somebody's will be entered so if when that foreign microorganisms are antigens are enter into our body at that time immune, immune system will automatically wake up it will be think oh somebody's will be under we have to we must destroy it the immune system will be think like it. we must think like that we must destroy it so automatically how it will be destroyed automatically it will be produce some substances it will be produce uh, some substances called antibody called antibody so antibodies are nothing some substances produced by the immune system against the antigen that is called as antibody so that produced antibody will be react with the antigens that antigens will be destroyed or that action of antigens will be destroyed that antigens uh, are the antigen antigens uh, antibody will be destroy the antigens otherwise that antigen actions will be controlled by the antibody how that antibody will control sir how the antibody will control the antigens sir for example one microorganism is uh, Uh, entered into our body means so that by the action of an antibody automatically it lyses the cell wall or etc so automatically the antigens will be mm, uh, die so we will discuss in later we will discuss in the, uh, in this action mode of action under the vaccine subject under the vaccine topic clear so here how that habits are supported uh, supports to develop a immunity means in roadside peoples in roadside peoples they are not regularly they are not taking that uh, injections because uh, each and every of many doses we are de- taking but uh, uh, some child or in some infants are growing in the controlled aseptic condition means that uh, we are not giving it just now i told we are not giving the chance to we are not giving the chance to entry of pathogenic organism to the Uh, infant but in roadside people regularly that roadside peoples they 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 cannot they cannot maintain the aseptic conditions the roadside growing infant will drink the impurity dirty water and will eat a dirty food dresses is also dirty that environment also dirty so automatically it will that uh, uh, infant will inhaling that uh, impure air and uh, contaminated food the regularly taking the contaminated food and uh, contaminated water so at that time that organism will cause uh, some diseases some diseases to the infant from to the infant so at that time due to that poverty the child that infant cannot get a injection or vaccines so automatically what will happen means after two days three days or five days based on the based on the type of organism it will take a time the time duration will be vary to cure the particular disease clear so when the microorganism enter that infant one infant one automatically immune system will be starts fight uh, starts fights with the antigen again start fight with the antigens clear so automatically that for example common cold common cold mean it, it may it will be cured maybe from 5 days to 7 days so very first time so particular antigen is entered and caused this this means that time antibody will be very right with them only immune system recognize the antigen so if uh, again against that one so immune system another one important character is it having that memory cells it having the memory cells once the antibody is produced once the antibody is produced i uh, once the antibody is produced against the particular antigen means it will be stored that antibody will be stored in the memory cells of immune system memory cells of a immune system then the same antigens will be entered into the body so at that time it dry easily come to previous fight so in case that same antigens will be third time enter into the same infant means uh, immediately destroy for example first time that anti uh, for approximately uh, first time the antigen is destroyed by the 5 to 6 days means the uh, second time 3 to 4 days likewise because uh, third time quickly it will be destroyed so in this mechanism only that's why we are taking the vaccination 
that's why we are taking the vaccination now nowadays only we are following that vaccination vaccination is a schedule but olden days they are not follows the vaccination schedule they the, the natural vaccine only they are taking natural vaccine means uh, they are allowing the organisms for the subsequent infection in this way they are developed the natural immunity but nowadays what we are doing nowadays now uh, voluntarily we are taking the vaccine vaccine means what vaccine means what vaccines prepared from where that uh, killed microorganisms killed microorganisms only polio vaccines are prepared from the polio virus so polio that polio causative agents will be inactivated or polio causing agents will be inactivated and killed which is voluntarily we are inserting into our body so in this way that uh, immune system will be developed these things are naturally happens that's why that uh, roadside people sir does not take due to poverty is a major reason does not does not take a vaccine in uh, vaccine so but regularly Uh, that uh, immunity will be develops regularly immunity will be develops so that uh, the, the the immunity will be develops natural way by the subsequent infection subsequent infection so that's why i'm saying that is a habits that is a habit that they are not taking a vaccine that is a habit that habits also support to develop the immunity so generally that immunity is a generally that immunity as are classified into the two types what are the means one is the innate immunity another one is the acute immunity innate immunity another one is the acute immunity so innate immunity means uh, it will be present from by birth itself that is called as the innate immunity acute immunity means uh, acute innate means natural acute means uh, we are receiving the immunity we are stimulating the immunity we are re receiving the immunity by the some inducers that is called as a acute immunity so that innate immunity today i am going to just giving on uh, giving an outline about that immunity introduction only so tomorrow only we are going to discuss elaborately so i will give that uh, introduction outline of that uh, types and uh, immunity and their types so innate immunity so innate immunity is a non specific defense mechanism non specific <laughs> defense mechanism that the innate immunity will be present at the time of birth that innate immunity accomplished by providing different types of barrier to enter the foreign agents into our body the innate immunity consist of a four types of barrier that innate immunity having the four types of barrier what are they means a physical barrier physiological barrier cellular barriers cellular barrier last one is a cytokinetic barrier so why, why it is called as a innate immunity is called as a non specific specific means for example nowadays uh, the based on that uh, subsequent infection now only i said that the subsequent infection develops the immunity based on that mechanism only nowadays uh, prepare that uh, corona viral vaccine corona viral vaccines that that organism is inactivated otherwise that protein responsible for stimulating that one that spike protein also separated which is also introduced into our body in this way only uh, immunity will be developed against the corona virus clear so the corona vax if you are taking that corona vaccine means uh, that vaccine will be supported to destroy the corona virus causing agent sorry corona this is causing agent only so this is called as a specific so if you are taking that vaccine means that if you are taking a polio uh, polio vaccine means uh, that vaccine will be develop the immunity against the polio virus clear so that is called as a specific one it will be specific one that is comes under the acute immunity but the, in the case of uh, innate immunity which is a non specific one non specific one means uh, uh, it is a that immunity is uh, naturally present by birth itself so it is a non specific one if any disease is occur because by birth itself from infant to uh, child or infant to child or child to infant that so many microorganisms may infect uh, infect the human 
infect the infect the person from infant to adult so at that time that many at that time even naturally immune systems are developed so after that one after development of immune immunity if any disease attack means immunity is strong means surely that person is protected from the various diseases it is called as a non specific one this is called as a non specific one it will be fight it can simply we can say non specific mean it can able to fight with the various groups of organisms this is called as a non specific immunity so that innate immunity providing the four different kinds of barrier to the entry of foreign agents what are the four barriers means we will discuss one by one first one is a physical barrier skin of our body is a main barrier which prevents the entry of microorganisms skin for example skin so our human body is covered by the skin so that uh, after the that uh, if one microorganism is attached with the as human skin means it should be entered into our body before that one it should cross the skin then only it should be ended so that uh, my that skin is act as a barrier the skin is act as a physical barrier that mucus coating of epithelium lining in respiratory mucus coating of epithelium lining in a respiratory gastrointestinal and the urogenital tracts also helps to trapping the microorganism to enter the our body clear the nose also having the so many hairs hairs are present inside the nose that is also act as a physical barriers because uh, it will be act as a mist it will be act as a mist it will be act as a filter the nose hair clear so they in a neat exam they make a ask what are the physical barriers so you should uh, keep it in your mind what are the physical barriers means uh, skin mucus containing the epithelial lining the respiratory gastro intestinal and urogenital tracts clear those are the physical barriers the next one is the physiological barriers physiological barriers means the uh, acid in the stomach saliva in the mouth tears from eyes all prevent the microbial growth you know very well acid the diluted hcl will be present it in case that uh, organisms are enter into our stomach means that as uh, as uh, by the action of that acid will destroy the microorganisms saliva in mouth saliva saliva having the more hydrolytic enzymes saliva having the more hydrolytic enzymes uh, uh, like uh, lipase carbohydrates carbohydrates clear so the like that hydrolysis enzymes are present in the saliva clear that saliva supports for the supports for the de uh, destroy the microorganism the d is also many my uh, d is also traps the microorganism the next one is a cellular barrier cellular barrier means a certain types of leukocytes of our body like a polymer nuclear leukocytes poly polymorpho nuclear leukocytes and monocytes and nk cells natural killer cells nk cell nk means a natural killer cells type of lymphocytes in the blood in the blood which is act as the macrophage in disease can phagocytosis and destroy the microbes so here it is important one cellular barriers cellular cellular means a cell will be acting as a barrier so barriers barriers means a to protect barriers means a to protect so many cells for example wbc so in introduction time i just now i told in introduction of this topic so wb wbc white blood cells are a immune cells right? white blood cells are called as a immune cells uh i mean immune cells so immune cells do the immune function only the natural killer cells nk cells the when the if uh, any toxic substances are found in blood means uh, nat natural killer cells immediately destroy the toxic one clear that is the major role of toxic cells that nk is a type of lymphocytes the next one is uh, macrophages in tissue macrophages can able to do the phagocytosis phagocytosis cytosis means uh, when the toxic substances are foreign 
particles antigens are enter into our body at that time that macrophages are enhelping that uh, foreign particles enhelping the antigens and uh, lysosome due to the action of that where well, antigens will be enhelped by the macrophages that macrophages is having that lysosomal enzyme that lysosomal enzymes having the hydrolytic enzyme hydrolytic due to the action of that hydrolytic enzymes that antigens will be antigens will be crushed so that the polymeric form of antigens will be convert into the simplest form at that time there is no action of the antigens that uh, inactive in inactivated mo monomeric form of that one will be come out from the cell this is called as a phagocytosis so in case lipid particle is enclosed means that is called as a phagocytosis uh, liquid sorry solid particle is solid particle is enveloping means that is called as a phagocytosis liquid particle is enveloping means that is called as a pinocytosis that is also important now phago means a solid food particles enveloping liquid food particle enveloping means a pino p a n o pinocytosis the last one is a cytokine barrier cytokine barrier cytokine barrier means a virus infected cells secrete protein is called as a interferons that interferons will be act as a supports for killing or destroying the microorganism that interferons will protect the non infected cells from the further viral infection so viral in case one virus is entered into our body means surely that viral will infect that is a mode of action viral virus will infect the particular disease a particular cells clear so that cells will produce the interferons that interferons will be protect the will protect the non infected cells from the further viral infection so keep it in your mind ma that the infected cells are not rectified so that the interferons will protect the non infected cells through the action of interferons those are the four important barriers which is present in the, in the innate immunity those are naturally present that skin wpc and saliva and the interference production those are naturally present it so that's why it is comes into the innate immunity so this is a intro introduction of a immunity and types of immunity tomorrow we will detailly discuss about the types of immunity that immunity is a important chapters important chapter one of the important chapter today class is over ma we will tomorrow we will discuss about the types of immunity in detail thank you students thank you